In this screencast I'll show you how to implement a second order runge cutter method in Excel. The reason that you might want to use such a method is if you are faced with a problem like this where you have to solve an ordinary differential equation so something of the form dy by dx is some function of x and y and where you're given a boundary condition for example when x equals 0 you're given a particular value of y and the aim is to find out how y changes in relation to x. So if we just go on to this next sheet, I'm going to use the example of f of xy equals 3 times e to the minus x minus 0.4y. And the value of y when x equals 0 is given as 5. I'm going to use a step length of 0.5. And I'm going to use this table here to work out the values and do the calculations for this second order runge cutter method. So for x we start with 0 and add on 0.5 each time to progress in one step. For the values of y we start with the initial value that we're given and then we have to do some additional calculations to work out how we take one step. First thing that we do is we evaluate the function for x equals 0 and y equals 5. And that's what we've done in this cell here. So we've got 3 times the exponential of minus x minus 0.4 times y. That gives a value of 1. And then we have to work out what the approximate value is going to be for the next y value, yi plus 1. And to do that we use Euler's method. So we take the value of y that we've got at the moment and add on f of xy times h and that gives 5.5. Uh, the, the next step after that is to evaluate the function again at xi plus 1 and yi plus 1 and get an approximate value for what the gradient is going to be at this next point. So again we implement the same function but this time with our approximate value 5.5 for our yi plus 1 and at 0.5 because that's our xi plus 1 as well. That gives us a value there. And for this particular second order runge cutter method, what we're going to do is we're going to take our initial value of y and add on h times by the average of these two gradients. So we're going to add them up, divide by 2, close those brackets, press enter. And that has give us, given us a refined value for yi plus 1. So to start with, we just used Euler's method to get our yi plus 1, an approximate value of that. Then we evaluated the gradient at that point. That was our minus 0 0.3804. And to make our next step, what we did was we took the average of those two gradients and worked out what the average gradient was over the step that we want to take. And that has given us a value of 5.1549. Next, we need to copy these values down to make our next step. Also, just put a dollar sign next to this 4 as a placeholder for the value of h. And we should be able to just copy all of these values down and make all of the steps that we need to make in y with all of those extra calculations. So each time we're evaluating the function of xi at each point, then we're working out the approximate value of yi plus 1 using Euler's method. We're working out the gradient at that point, that next point, and then we're coming back down here, taking the average of those two gradients and using that to make our step. Okay, so if we plot this in a graph, we can see how things progress. So we've got y on the y-axis and x on the x-axis and we can see the blue line is what we'd get if we just use Euler's method on its own and you take small steps and you can see how the function progresses. The exact solution has been calculated as well and shown as this red line and you can see that this second order runge cutter method goes through this line very nicely and is a great improvement on Euler's method. And so that's the reason why you would want to use a higher order method such as this second order runge cutter method. I should also point out that other 
second order runs gutter methods are available that do things slightly different, such as the midpoint method. Overall, that is how you implement this particular second order runge cutter method in Excel.